Here's the latest HomePod from Apple coming in at $99. Today, I really wanna check it out and see what components went inside to it. So let's go ahead and tear it down. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it itself on its back. Now, this rubberized texture and uh, bottom piece here, you just peel it right up. And I have a card here. We're just gonna come in and just cut around the adhesive. That is just gonna peel this cover right off. I've gone ahead and done that before the video. Here you can see some of the adhesive in the center. That is gonna expose three TR6 screws. After you have that cover removed, it exposes one TR10 screw. Taking out that TR10 screw, this removes this cover here. And you can see that the mesh fabric is adhesived onto here. We also have some type of foam padding right here. So now we'll just separate the mesh from the speaker. Now it does look like there are some stickers covering some screw holes here, 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 here. So four on the bottom, as well as another four here. So these are rubberized or silicone pads that hold these screws here. After you remove those, it looks like it is held in by TR6 torque screws. Once we have eight of those rubber pads removed, as well as eight TR6 screws, we're gonna try to pry the top and bottom apart. So the top pops off just like this. There is a cable in here. And then we can slide the cable right out. Now to take off the top touch pad, we're going to remove these screws in here. These appear to be Torx 5 screws. So pushing in from the bottom releases this touch display with the volume and touch pad in the center. We're gonna release this cable here by pulling up on this connector. And this should allow the cable to come out freely. This top piece here is glued into place. You just give it some force and pull it right off. That exposes some more Torx 6 screws. Now on top of this board, we see a bunch of little LEDs and that is responsible for bringing the light show to the top of the touch panel. So once those four Torx 6 screws are removed, we're gonna pry in from the side and peel up, gently pull up on this board and it will expose a connector onto the side here. We're gonna undo this connector, which is the power supply. And here is the main board to the Apple HomePod mini. You can see we have a bunch of LEDs in the center on the back, we have some capacitors as well as some chips. The main, the power supply plugs in right here. The speaker went to that connection here and the touch panel went right here. It looks like there's additional two metal contacts here that go straight to the speaker and which are held into place just by making contact on these screws. Now we pry the middle away from the bottom of the HomePod mini. Being careful that this wire is held in by some adhesive, so we do need to loosen that. And so this is the metal piece of the HomePod Mini. You can see it's got some metal and rubber around this side. And then on the bottom, we have a bottom facing speaker. 
This is held into place by some more Torx 6 screws. So here we can remove the speaker, which exposes the bottom grill. And finally, we have the power connector located right here. This is the USB-C cord. And so I was also mistaken by this wire. It looks like this wire could be the microphone, which is located on the bottom of this HomePod Mini. All right, guys, so there is a teardown of the Apple HomePod Mini. If you guys did find the video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.